uh, youth, youth arts programs are just really undervalued in terms of the uh, kind of vision and imagination that they, they offer to society. And, you know, I think a lot of some of the most important ideas and, um, are, are coming from programs like these. So I really wanted to be involved with that and just help that process along in any way that I can. You know, so once I found out that YBCA had a youth program, I just wanted to, you know, give whatever experience I had to make that a richer experience for those involved. You already had an idea in mind when we started working together, you know, which was uh, a mural kind of talking about the school to prison pipeline and the parallels between schools and prisons. I was interested on the whole topic mainly because I have homies in the system and it also came to my attention on how like schools and prisons are really alike how we have like this usually the same color walls same tiles same like format. I really just kind of like through articles or content that I came across in my, my daily internetings uh, at you and we were just, um, you know, like while, while we're sketching, while we're painting, you're just telling me about your day, telling me about your friends, what's going on in their lives and how, how it connects to what we're painting about and just, um, you know, just making sure that there's a connection between the art that we're making and, you know, the life that we're actually living. Well, it's always good to have somebody to push you along, you know, because if you're, and I mean, I mean that not to say that Robin isn't an incredibly motivated and dedicated artist. The process of making the mural was like smooth, like as scared I was of like meeting a deadline, like I thought it went through pretty well, usually because he was pushing me like when I felt that I needed to be pushed because I was getting lazy, I'm not gonna lie. But having him there was like the thing I needed to actually finish it. So like keep keep moving, you know, just some somebody like a, a cheerleader, you know? <laughs> like uh and so that I feel like that was kind of um my my purpose because like Robin's a very accomplished painter and illustrator and so it, it wasn't really um, I, I didn't have a lot to offer him technically but in, in terms of like uh, maybe a method and like being like cool now give me give me five sketches or like give me draw this scene in a, in a way that you would normally wouldn't or like you know I, do, like or just based off of this word like do it do a few sketches off of this off of this word, so I think I, that I maybe can like uh, make his process, his method, and his process branch off a little bit in directions that maybe he wouldn't go. And so that's uh, you know I'm just keeping him a little more ex experimental. So Ruben knew everything how to start a mural, like and everything like how to keep going on with it. And him having that knowledge and me not usually into that type of thing, like that. It was like a huge help, like if he wasn't there at the time I was doing the mural, I wouldn't know how to start it. It would probably take me longer. And like, it was kind of a two person thing. Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of what I was saying earlier about my role, like not necessarily as like an art instructor, but more like someone who can just like, who, who knows like, okay, these are, the kind of boards we should use or like these are how, like where we can lean the boards but like in, in terms of the preparator thing like uh, you know YBCA's preparator facilities have pretty much everything that you would need to also be a studio like we have tools we have paint we have a space that you can get dirty um, and so it would have been really hard to do this mural without um, the generosity of the visual arts department and, um, you know, it does kind of bring up the issue that the Yaz don't have a space themselves to create, uh, but at least for that project, we were able to do so.